Well, hello, Virgo, and welcome to Mystic Door Tarot. This is Barb with your weekly tarot card reading for September 16th through the 22nd, 2024, taking a look at the energy and messages coming through for the week ahead. And as always, Virgo, take what resonates as that's what you're meant to hear and leave the rest behind. So we're just going to jump in. Messages and guidance for Virgo, please, for the week ahead. What's coming through for Virgo? Messages for Virgo. First card. Ooh, nice. The Ace of Pentacles. A beautiful new opportunity. What else for Virgo? The Five of Pentacles. This is going to change this situation here with the Five of Pentacles. There's something here that um, you feel um, that this is like a lack of type of card that you don't realize what's close by. And it's this energy. There's like new beginnings, a new opportunity or option that you're not aware of. Beautiful. We have the Major Arcana card, the world. So beautiful cards and energy. I love, um, you know, the color scheme. It, it's, it's all you, Virgo, Earth sign. And, oh, yeah. Now, this is the Major Arcana card, the tower. This is playing out in the background. It could hit some of you very hard, but in a good way. And for others, it might be something minor. But the, the tower, as the overall energy playing out this week, is bringing in this beautiful, significant change. You know, we've got two major arcana card energies working this week. And, and that could be a turning point for some of you. And also, with the... Full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces, wherever um, Pisces is in your chart at 25 degrees, you take a look at which house it's in and what that house represents, because that's where you're going to be able to take advantage of that energy. And all this month, Virgo, especially being uh, your month, your birth month, for most of you, this is a month to get down, get busy, get things going. It's growth, expansion. And definitely see that this energy here, that if there is a feeling of lack in some area of your life, there is something you're not yet aware of close by. And all you have to do is kind of like step through that portal, step, take that first step, Letting go of the past, the old, and stepping into the new. So it is significant change that's coming in. And the Ace of Pentacles is the potential for uh, an opportunity, an option, a direction you might want to go in. Let's take a look and see which crystal is uh, being suggested for you, Virgo. Oops. Get that back in line. All right, let's take a look. Lapis Lazuli. And look at this. Problems resolved. That's what the Five of Pentacles is a lack of something, a lack of love, a lack of uh, money, um, a lack of um, the home that you want, whatever it is. This is your third eye, your throat chakras. Problems are getting resolved. So um, there, there is significant change that's going to be coming in. Maybe prompted by you, Virgo. We will see. Let's take a look at your oracle message. And we actually had two fall out. So look at this. The sun, have faith, and moss being adaptable. Very earthy sign here. I'm looking at the 38 here, 11. That's a master number. Have faith. Um, looking at the, um, the sun rising in the background. There's something new coming in. And then we see the sunlight again streaming where you need to be adaptable for what's coming your way. And we have the six energy, which is trying to get you in the right direction. So beautiful, beautiful uh, messages there. Let's take a look at um, 
cute tea leaf message here. What's coming through for Virgo? And we had a card flip out. Pin. For some of you, it's going to be a new job or career. So, again, being adaptable. Your problems are going to be resolved. I love lapis lazuli. And I think I have one of mine nearby. That's the opportunity here. Let's first talk about the tower energy. What's working uh, behind the background? The tower always gets a bad rap. Everybody immediately thinks, oh my gosh, sudden change, drastic change. And yeah, it's, it's because of how it's being shown on the cards. But it's not destroying the entire foundation that's in place. It's just kind of getting rid of what's no longer uh, what served its purpose. So tower card is coming in where there's change that's going to be happening. Um, it's playing out in the background. For some of you, it's going to be a big deal, you know, like life events, turning the corner. For others, it's going to be in maybe one small aspect where you're going to still be very grateful that the change, what came in, is helping you. Looking at the bottom of the deck, we have a very dreamy, almost wish list kind of energy here where there's a lot to choose from. We have the Hermit, Deep Introspection. And with the Eight of Cups, this is an indication that you're tired of um, like your current situation or current relationship or current living uh, arrangement where you're going to go off in a new direction. So this is yet to be. This is coming. And it's all kicking off with this Tower card energy. Now, your anchor card for the reading is the Ace of Pentacles, and this is a new opportunity. This could be, as we're seeing here in your tea leaf message, for some of you, a new job or career. could be a new position, a new company that you're working for. Um, it also can be um, in regards to, like, for those of you that might be retired, it could be like a new interest, a new class, a new activity, a new group that you're joining. So... Um, it's a general reading, so take it how it resonates, Virgo. But there is something that is being made available this week that you could take advantage of. The aces show up as the potential to become something that's really going to benefit you. You have to act. You have to take action in order to bring it to fruition. And that's going to eliminate this um, Five of Pentacles energy, this woe is me in some area we look at this little butterfly here, just kind of like coming in to let you know that there is indeed a transformation taking place, especially between these two cards here, this energy. This is a representation of the support that's nearby. This is representing this Ace of Pentacles there for the taking. So five also represents some kind of change. We are having the Oracle message of, of faith, you know, the, sun, um, the dawn of a new day, you might say, being adaptable to what's coming in. Now, the major arcana card, the world, this is the last stop on the fool's journey. Having gone through all the different phases and stages of uh, possibly your life, you could actually be ending um, a seven or a 10 year cycle that you've been in, Virgo. That is drastic change. And it's heading off into something that's so much better. So this is uh, an energy of um, kind of like out with the old, in with the new. We have the 21, which reduces down to three. Three is new beginnings, something trying to come together to create something new. Getting rid of the lack of how this resonates for you. What's lacking in your life? Because there's an opportunity here, especially if it's a job. You've already got the indication here that there's a new job, career, maybe a different field you want to go into, and your problems are getting resolved. So if you have left with lazuli, carry it with you this week. There's significant change that's coming in. There's the potential for you to be able to get out of what this represents to you. So you might have been looking for a job. You might have been um, looking for quite some time, keeping the faith, being adaptable to what's coming your way. So 
So let's clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see if we can get any more insight. Looking uh, with a fresh pair of eyes, a new perspective. That can also be utilizing your third eye, which is your perception on things. So that's changing. You're, you're opening up. Um, it's almost like the sunlight streaming in, kind of giving you a sense of um, presenting something in a new light. We've got the same thing here. And this represents, and this individual, tapping into what your intuition is telling you. So... Definitely thinking about um, what your inner guiding voice, your gut instincts are telling you, especially if you're being presented with a new opportunity. What's your gut telling you? To take it? I think so. Based on what your cards are, it's going to solve some of your problems. So five of pentacles. Look at that. The worst is over. It's kind of like a, a no turning back kind of energy. You're just going to go for this. You're not going to look back. You're not going to worry about it. You're taking what uh, the support that's nearby, the opportunities that's nearby, the change that's coming in. It might be very abrupt and severe change. It could be um, getting a job, but you have to move house. You have to move your family. You know, you're moving away from um, neighbors, community to a new place. Something where you have to be very adaptable. But your problems are being resolved. So the world card. Queen of Wands. Um, Queen of Wands certainly can be representing an Aries, a Leo individual. That could be someone that is presenting you um, with possibly a new job. I often pick up the Queen of Wands as a recruiter or someone in, in the lead with a company that sees your gifts, your talents, what you have to, uh, you know, to offer, bring to the, the job, the project, the class, whatever it might be, however this is resonating with you. So keep an eye out for fire sign energy, someone that's a leader, a CEO, a recruiter. Um, this could also represent a realtor if you need to find um, uh, a new place to live. This is someone that's giving you assistance or helping you get this opportunity. All right, Virgo. Let's see, what's the last message coming through for Virgo for the week ahead? Self-care. And it says, spoil yourself in the moonlight. Well, take it how it resonates. But this week... Whatever area of your life is in focus where you're, you're lacking something, you need support, you need help, whether it's finding a job, maybe making more money, getting um, a promotion, um, getting into a new job, you know, it's, that is coming to an end. There is an opportunity coming in as long as you're looking at it, um, trusting your gut instincts, looking at it um, with, like, with a new perspective being ready to be adaptable, just having that leap of faith as the world card, out with the old, in with the new, watching for someone that has this queen of wands, fire sign kind of leadership, take charge kind of uh, an individual that could be coming in, someone that's helping you, problems getting resolved, and certainly that tower, significant change taking place. And along with it, the final message is about make sure you're still taking care of yourself in the process. All right, Virgo. Well, that is the energy for the week. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoyed the reading, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Love and abundance to my Virgo family.